Hey guys, welcome to Desk Jockey Physio, where we help active desk folks feel and move better. My name is Mitch Starkman. I'm an F-Camped registered physiotherapist and sports medicine clinic owner here in Toronto. Thanks for stopping by. Hey everyone, two quick updates before we jump into today's video. Number one, we have a free giveaway today. If you head over to deskjockeyphysio.com slash guide, you can download your five-step guide of how to set up the perfect laptop home office, which you can do right here, okay? And number two, we are now offering online physiotherapy sessions for you folks out there. To learn more about that, head over to deskjockeyphysio.com slash online, and we'll see you there. All right, otherwise, enjoy the video, guys. Thanks for watching. So the question is, should you be working from your couch? And the answer is no, but of course it's yes, because we all do it. We're all gonna work from our couch, we're all gonna be comfortable, especially now, not to date this video, but with COVID-19 going on, a lot of people are working from home. So what does that mean when you don't have the most perfect office setup? What that means is we have to take steps to put ourselves in the best position possible. Our body is adaptable, it is good and comfortable for us to hang out in certain positions or postures for some of the time, not all the time. Now with everybody moving back home and working from home, we're gonna see a whole bunch of different issues and injuries pop up. So make sure you're keeping this in mind and keeping yourself comfortable but also taking steps to make sure that you are putting your body in the best position possible to give yourself the best chance. So let's jump over and take a look at how you should set up that couch. Okay, so here we are on the couch about to get to work. Now the two most common positions people go into is they put their laptop down on their coffee table and most people are working from laptops and we are flex forward looking into what I call the triangle of fire, right? This is a really common position you see people working in. Yeah, I'm looking at you, right, in here. The other one is hung back, hanging out, you know, chilling, doing this position, right? Are either of these bad? Yes, they're bad, okay? And the reason why they are bad is if they're done for a sustained period of time, they will creep up and create issues, okay? In little bits of sort of, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, it's okay. But over the long term, not a great position to put yourself into. We wanna optimize things, okay? So what we're gonna do is a really easy, quick fix. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna elevate this thing. So I grabbed this from a bathroom in my house. You can probably stack some books up, a couple old phone books if you still have any of those around the house, and snack your laptop on top there, right? Now, this has gone ahead and elevated this. So this is really nice for me. I can actually use my quads, my, my femurs here, as a support for my forearms, then I can go ahead and I can rest my hands on the keyboard. So this is actually now becomes a perfect ergonomic level for me. Now, the problem is the screen is still lower. So I could be tempted to come hang out in this position, which is gonna create some havoc for my body as well. So if I wanna optimize this at that next level, what I can do is tilt this up a little bit. So now my gaze is directed down towards the screen and make sure my chin is tucked. So I'm not here, I'm tucked and my spine is nice and straight, okay? Now, I'm not ramrod straight here, meaning I'm not holding this position all day long and saying this is where you should be. We need variance, okay? But this stacked position is gonna be a much more comfortable position to offload neck tension, headaches, lower back pain than this might be. So vary those two, okay? So again, I'm up tall, I'm hinged forward, my, my forearms are supported by my quadriceps, I'm using the keyboard and I'm looking down into my laptop with a tucked chin and working from this position for a long period of time is going to be much more effective, okay? That is our easiest way to tackle this. If you want to come back and hang out using the back support, that's okay. Bring your little support with you. So you can hang out here and now come out in this position and hang out a little bit. You can put a pillow under your back for a bit, switch it up. Variance is key, but making sure you have a little bit of abdominal contraction, a little bit of activity, and don't have your neck hinged forward, right? Because the problem with this is my neck is really in this position, right? If I don't move my neck and I come back, this looks normal, right? But if I were sitting up this way, you'd be like, what the heck are you looking at, Mitch? So important, okay? So again, just to review that quickly, get something to lift your laptop up onto, leg supported, hands on top, tuck the chin and look down into it. This is gonna be your most effective way to work from your couch for long periods of time, especially now during this COVID-19 to age this video, okay? so. Good luck with that. If you like this, if it's helpful, please go ahead and share it or like it down below, subscribe to the channel, and of course, move like you made it. Thanks a lot.